this is a brand new video since since <laughs> chicken nuggets I think was your last video Thursday Red Wave yesterday well official like cooking video oh welcome back to Yazi family vlogs and cooking she washed it and use this for Josiah's <clears throat> dinner Today is Friday, so I'm making fish and chips Friday. Well, that's it's gonna Friday. come out today. <laughs> <laughs> I got this for our Father's Day. State of the art. Uh, what's it called? February 2.7 1000. <laughs> Sorry, it's all dirty. It's been put I to broke use it in already. already. So, <clears throat> I'm going to be using that for our fries. And <clears throat> still moving. Sue caught some tilapia while I was at work today. <laughs> so I said, let me make it then. So this is tilapia. It <clears throat> was like in a big old piece. to were like this, so I cut them in half. So we got tilapia as we're gonna do. We're gonna do batter with that. And shoot, I forgot a bowl. I should do this one first. So <clears throat> for my tilapia, I'm gonna use flour, uh, seafood seasoning straight from Red Lobster, lemon pepper, garlic salt, club soda since we're not beer drinkers you can use a beer make a beer batter baking powder that's all gonna go well just these three are gonna go in my batter this one's i'm gonna i'm gonna season the fish with it this is just a bowl of um cold water and then i'm gonna use it for my fries gonna cut them up just like how potatoes you would do depends what size you want you can do wedges you can do shoestring style you can do mcdonald's style but um i think these are good right mm -hmm. I almost not made this video. <laughs> almost not made. I almost did not do this video. She was like, what are you making for dinner? I, was like, ah. that, I don't know. I don't want to make the fish right now. I don't want to do it right now. He goes, if I don't make it, what shall we have? I almost grabbed some ribs. Then I was thinking, if I'm going to make ribs, I might as well just make the fish. I don't know, I just keep posting, posting, pushing these videos off, but we need Today's to get, day. get back on it though. Yeah. Any motivation to go. But Sue did her Thursday res fave. Came out really nice. And you're just going to cut them up just however, how big you want it. <clears throat> These guys like fries, so Josiah's here with us. He's off today. He's off today, so he's gonna pretty sure eat a lot. And he's got a new toy. I wasn't sure if I was gonna make a vlog on that or just add it into this video. Then I was thinking, man, should we just go live and make this on a live? But then I was thinking, we made this live already. Yeah, we went live when we... Fish and chips. It just kind of seemed like everybody was... Having too much fun on their own side. And so why not live it? Live it. Yeah, <laughs> live it. What 
yeah, this is all I'm doing. Like I said, you guys can cut them however big you want it, how skinny you want it, how small you want it. You guys want it like Freddy's fries. Should I show them my other tool? You have another tool? I have another tool. Oh, here you go. Check this out. Crinkle cut fries. Mm. <clears throat> All you do is just push it straight down. Both sides are like that, and then you're just gonna go. It is pretty sharp. See? Let's just. Or did I order it online? I think you ordered it. I ordered it online, huh? Yeah. Next one I'm gonna get is um I wanna do a criss cut. What's it called from Chick-fil-A? Oh. The baby loves Chick-fil-A fries. We should have got that sauce. The Chick-fil-A sauce? Mm-hmm. Send your door. It's pretty. <laughs> so that's all it is. And so let it sit in that water. I need to add more water. My, well, my fryer's ready. And I made fries before on the channel. I'm gonna do it like um, a double fry. Double fry. So I'm gonna do a double fry method. Let me add more water in here real quick. It's ready. It's ready. And then you can see over here. I'm just rinsing it out. Getting all the starch out. Potatoes are full of starch, like rice. So I can make a five minute video. Sorry, sir, but you're on eight minutes. <laughs> no. <clears throat> this one's gonna be flour. And I'm just going to season the fish. So I'm going to start off with garlic salt. Lemon pepper. This was eight pieces of um, 
tilapia. <laughs> then it doubled when I cut them up. They caught three, Jojo caught three. I caught two of them. I cheated, I cheated. I, I just bought two of them. And I told her I caught it. I got these from Wheatfields. Just kidding. <laughs> like there's tilapia. <laughs> So, yeah, you're just going to season them. We should do fishing. We need to load up the whole tackle box again, though, huh? Yep. It's empty. We were supposed to go um, camping. Yeah. We'll walk around and look for Bigfoot's cave. <clears throat> but yeah, this is just season your fish. And then, um, that is pretty much it. And then I'm gonna get. What are my pans right here ready? Give me about another five minutes. Let me heat up that pan and let me get those potatoes ready and then we'll be back. Okay, we are back. So that is ready. This is getting ready. That's just about ready. So I'm gonna do about I think that was three cups of flour. The last of it. You need more flour. Mm -hmm. Maybe two tablespoons of <clears throat> baking powder. Mix that up. And then I'm adding some club soda. And foam. Some more. Try not to add in too much because it'll just the foam will build up. And the club soda is cold, so <clears throat> try to have it as cold as you can. Otherwise, the batter is just going to get too warm. It's going to get too warm and it's just going to start falling off the fish every time you dip it. And you guys can put um, ice cubes in there to keep it warm too. Warm or cold? Or warm. I mean, <laughs> cold. Did I say warm? Yeah. Yeah, try to keep your bat batter cold. about done. Do you want that <clears throat> batter to make it feel like you're making um, pancakes? Let me change this. This is too flimsy. And then my fries over here are doing good. So I'm going to do a double fry on that. Cook that for a bit and then I'm gonna 
Lift it up out of the oil. You know, maybe I can do just a little more flour. <clears throat> She's almost out of her bluebird. We need more. We need more. Somebody send us some. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just kidding. Or am I? I'm just kidding. <laughs> okay, let me put this right here. Don't say that. <clears throat> and then it's you gonna get, get ten bucks in the mail. <laughs> it's gonna get messy, so I'm gonna use trying to use one hand, keep the side clean. Okay. <clears throat> that oil is hot. Look, well, it's coming up nice and brown. Do you want something to come in? No. Hold on, guys. Hold on. Oil's pulling down now. <clears throat> and I'm only using two pieces because if I put a third one in there, then the oil's gonna boil over. Still going, let's get another fish in there. <clears throat> Maybe a batter. Now, when you put it in your oil, just hold it in there for about five seconds. And go. <clears throat> Easy at that. So this one's almost done, I'm gonna get this one ready. I'm going to sit down out my road. Thank <laughs> you. 
So how long has that one been resting? About a minute, two minutes so far? Yeah. <clears throat> Clean up my area really quick. Two moments. This is a really quick meal. Um, as long as everything is hot, everything will cook well. The fish is pretty thin, so it's going to cook quick. So I'm just getting ahead of myself, breading these, covered, well not breading, but covering it with some flour. See on that side helping me. And then we got this side. Cover it. Uh, go ahead and sweep it off in it, so that so that way it'll crisp up. Can you then burn it? Mm -hmm. Please go ahead and take that one. Out. Start on our next piece. I did this during the live, but I didn't really explain the process to do a live and <clears throat> Sue has the camera at the table. She will only come up here every now and then, kind of just show me. Show me. Show people what we're doing. But yep, this is a fish and chips. I tested one out. I tested out the fryer because I'm still adjusting to that temperature. I made um, fried chicken in it already, huh? Yeah. This one in there. <clears throat> and then in. keep it going. These are fried up really well. <clears throat> it's thin. Can we taste test this one right now? Right now? Yeah, just that one and a piece of that. You don't have to finish it, you just taste that one. Actually, let it cool down first. Probably let it cool down. Okay. So, give us um, a few more minutes. I'm going to finish this one up. And then we're going to have Sue go ahead and taste test the fish and chips. And we'll see how she likes it. I hope she likes it. I made it with love. <laughs> <laughs> see you guys in a little bit. Okay, guys, we are done with our fish and chips right there. Mm. So that's fish and chips. Fish and chips, and the video loves fish and chips. Let's hear Nicholas. Wow. Where's the other half at? Uh, Miracle has it. She said she's wearing it. 
awesome. Best friends, huh? So say hi, Miracle. Hi, Miracle. <laughs> <laughs> Dang, this guy didn't even wait. Look. <laughs> so they're going to be the taste testers of the fish and chips. Go ahead and eat and let them know. Mm. The fish is good. Delicious. <clears throat> nice and crispy. Nice and crispy? Mm-hmm. Mm, that crunch sounds good. It's nice, crispy, yummy. This is the inside of it. It's flaky, huh? Mm -hmm. <clears throat> Eat it with some lemon. There's more lemons up there. There's more fish to go around. Do you guys like ketchup with your fish? No. No? Yeah, good. It's disgusting. That's good. You know, big shout out to um, Joel Hansen. I'm doing a video with him. <laughs> Coming up, so. We're doing an all-you-can-eat fish challenge. Man, I wish I, I could do a video with Joel Hansen. I guess I can eat. Yeah. Well, I can't eat like him, but I just want to chill with him. Delicious, delicious. Mm -hmm. Not bad for Fish Friday, huh? Mm-hmm. These cheap napkins. <laughs> <laughs> Tell them, kind sir. Tell them. Okay. <clears throat> no. Let them know how your burger tastes. Oh. <clears throat> it's very good. Really nice and crispy. And then with the lemon, it goes even better. Mm -hmm. Yes. I prefer not to eat mine with tartar sauce. No. No. No, you guys are not tartar sauce people? No. That good. <clears throat> I can eat it, but I just prefer not to. Can you give me another fish? Yep, as you guys can see, this is all you can eat fish over here. <clears throat> Man, I love tartar sauce. I don't mind tartar sauce or ketchup. They're both good. Mm. You can tell he was hungry. <laughs> yeah. There's more fish up there. Go eat for the subscribers. Whoa. Mm. 
even club soda that's better, really good, huh? Yeah. Mm -hmm. You don't need a Corona, Modelo. Mm -hmm. I'm sure it's good with beer batter, but club soda is a really good substitute. And just make sure your batter is cold. <clears throat> Otherwise, if it gets too warm and you drench your fish in there and it's just going to come right off. But yeah, this is our... We did a live on this video, but we didn't really show you the step-by-step -step process. I'm glad they pushed me to make this video. I feel good. Yeah, I pushed him. I said, get in the kitchen right now. <laughs> <laughs> Sometimes you just need a little motivation. Yeah. Because I don't think I would have done this video. Then I was thinking, we should just go live. Then I don't have to record and edit. But then I was like, no, I got to put this out. <laughs> yeah, but we're trying to get back into cooking mode, recording videos. But we'll get back in there. So. Like I was saying, the cooking video takes longer than actual cooking. Yeah. But thank you guys for watching. Thanks for watching. We Comment, whole, like, subscribe. We got a whole bunch of new subscribers. Welcome to our channel. Introduce yourself, Dan. Um, thank you guys for subscribing, commenting. Um... Our channel started off as just cooking. But my and camera shyness went away. And then lately we've just been vlogging. We've just been busy with Josiah's graduation. I think that's what the girl said. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So we do Thursday Res Fave every Thursday. Thank you guys for watching that Thursday Res Fave too. And <clears throat> a lot we, of you guys have tasted it. Like, um, weekends is when we usually, like, do vlogs, like, because we usually go out of town sometimes. And you guys know we love Dutch Bros. To all our new subscribers. We're not crazy. We'll just drive two hours for Dutch Bros and just come back. Mm-hmm. So gallop me to Dutch Bros. Really bad, or we need to just start making our own. Yeah, I think I'm going to start ordering the syrups. But yeah, welcome to our channel. I'm Sue, my husband Warren, Josiah, Nevea, our two cats, Vader and Binks. Our reptiles. Oh, we have two turtles. Um... What? You forgot now. <laughs> and here, I was the one that forgot. <laughs> Tiny and... Spencer. Spencer. <laughs> I forgot their name. <laughs> but, yeah. The, this is our family channel. Maybe one of these days we'll, on a vlog we'll show you guys our turtles. Yeah. <clears throat> we used to take them outside and let them get some sun. We'll do that. We'll lock up the cats and we'll give the turtles a chance to walk around in here. We've had them for... Shoot, four or five years? Maybe four or five years. They were small. They're getting huge now. Yeah, we didn't get them when they were like tiny, tiny. But they were they were grown. Not full grown. Not full grown, but... They got bigger and... I, we told Josiah that we wanted to let them go in... At the... Um, in Fountain Hills. Yeah, we're <clears throat> last two years, huh? Yeah. We're gonna take him out there and just put him in the in the fountain hills because you know, like I said, we we're planning the movie. Not just right now, but you know, we were gonna let him go out there and go visit and all that. But Josiah doesn't want to let them go. Josiah doesn't want to let him go wherever he moves. His turtles are going. Yeah. But um, <clears throat> he's going to school. His turtles are gonna stay. And I'll be taking care of his turtles. So, other than that, 
everything is really good. We're fine. <laughs> We're just going on and on. I'm turning into you now. <laughs> <laughs> turning into a vlog now. But yeah, thanks for watching guys. Thanks for subscribing. It's always good to read your comments. And yeah. Thank you guys. Please subscribe and watch to watch this guys. It's really entertaining. We love them. So we shall see you guys in the next. Peace. Next vlog, cooking, whatever.